Hey dude, uh, have you ever wondered how to get custom sounds on your Android device? Custom notifications, whether that's ringtones, text messages, emails, or just the regular default notification. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set that up, what file formats you need to use for Android. I'm gonna be using the Pixel 7 as my device. So if you are on an Android device or one of the newer Pixel devices, this is gonna work for you, so stick around. I'm gonna go ahead and get a workout in my garage really quick, and then we're gonna step into my office and talk about it. <laughs> All right, well, did a 20 minute AMRAP of three exercises. May not have been pretty, but uh, gonna go for a quick walk and then to the office. Let's do it. All right, finished my walk. Sorry, coming in a little sweaty. We are gonna be talking about how to get custom sounds on your Android device. Um, right now I am using, actually I just primarily switched from an iPhone 12 to the Google Pixel 7. Um, using a mouse case. Um, if you like these cases, I'm a huge fan of them. Um, on the Pixel 7, I, it was a little bit different than what I've, but I, what I've used previously. So I've gone between iPhone and Android devices for the past, I don't know, 10 years or so. But by and large, 90% of the time, I was using an iPhone, Apple Watch. I've got a MacBook. All this, all the stuff. Just recently, I just, I, I felt like it was. Um, time to change to a different device. Um, I was a little bit bored with iPhone. Um, I had an Apple watch I tried a couple of different watches, but uh, I was just I was just wasn't really pleased about it And I knew I can switch to an Android device because I've done it before I used to work for a telecom company where I had an iPhone for my personal and an Android device for the other one Back in the day. I used to do all the custom ROM stuff, you know um, I used to have uh, Cyanogen mod. I used to have uh, lineage. Um, it was really easier to get custom sounds uh, through that way. But somewhere along the way, I found um, the custom sounds for Cyanogen Mod, and actually, I, I downloaded them somehow, and I've always had, I've had them for like the past 10 years. Um, so on the Pixel 7, the new um, Android 13, I think it is, OS, it was a little bit different on trying to get those sounds in there because typically the notification formats for, I believe, iPhone and Android, I thought they were .aac, um, formats, audio formats, but that is not true. And I was a little bit confused and it took me a little bit while. So if you're looking to have, if you have like a, a list of custom sounds, custom ringtones, custom notification sounds, then this might be really beneficial for you because it's only three easy steps. Recording my screen here, let's get into it. Number one, the first step is I think folder management. I have Google Drive on my uh, MacBook Pro and that just makes it easier because it automatically uploads to Google Drive and then um, automatically comes to my uh, Google Pixel. That's one way to really alleviate the um, lack of airdrop. It makes it just as easy almost. Um, I just upload to Google Drive here on my Mac and then it goes directly to my phone and I can download it. So it's still pretty quick. So as you can see here, I've got a couple of MP3 uh, format, audio formats for Scion Message, SMS Argon, and SMS Bellatrix. These are probably the three most favorite notifications that I had from Cyanogen Mod. I think I got these from OnePlus One uh, when I had that device like I said, 10 years ago, I think it was, when it first came out. But I think I downloaded them somehow. I, I don't know really how I got them, but uh, if you have some custom sounds that you've had collected over the past couple of years and trying to figure out how to get it on uh, the Pixel device, then this is how. Now, the audio format that you need to have it in is an .ogg, which I have never heard of. This is the format that actually is recognized by uh, the Pixel 7, at least. Uh, probably the Pixel 7 Pro, for it to actually come into as, uh, for you to load it as a custom sound in your settings. So first things first, um, I actually found this through some type of forum, but um, basically we need to convert the MP3 into a .ogg. Now I left off the Bellatrix um, just because I want to do this video. So over here I've got just a regular, um, just a regular browser. So I searched how to convert MP3 to ogg. And this one actually came in, uh, the first one at least for me is from Convertio. And this one worked really well. Um, sometimes I'm skept skeptical about some of these uh, some of these sites, but whatever. So I just uh, grab it over here and I just drag and drop, gives a little plus sign. So it's the MP3 to OGG and I just convert. It'll upload, it'll, it'll transfer and it'll come back, so. Hopefully I'll just speed this up. All right, as you can see, it was uploaded to their server or whatever, and so now it's converting it from an MP3 to the .ogg format. 
Oh, and uh, disregard all the packages here. It is December, it's Christmas. The majority of these are all for my wife. <laughs> uh, I got a couple in there for my kids, but um, tis the season. So I could actually start wrapping these at some point. Yeah, it's stacked up pretty high. At least up to my, at least up to my stomach when I'm standing up. All right, so it looks like it finally finished. Um, we've got finished here, OGG. It's only 12.4 uh, kilobytes. So let's go ahead and download this. So it downloaded to my computer. I just go into my downloads, pull it, and drop it into my what I call custom mobile sounds. This is a folder that I have in my Google Drive. It just makes it easier for me to uh, know where to go. As you noticed up here in the Google Drive format, but also here, it was uploading and now it finished uploading to Google Drive. So I'm gonna pull up my phone here and show you how to actually load it up as a custom sound. All right, so we are in settings now and I'm gonna scroll to sound and vibration and go down to, I'm just gonna go to default notification sound. And then from here, you've got the uh, first option at my sounds. And I've already loaded up the um, sign message and also the SMS argon. And so all of the rest of these are from Slack. I think certain apps automatically upload their specific sounds. And, you, and if you like that sound, you can actually use it here. But at least for Slack, I can actually use any of these for my sounds. But we're gonna go down here in the plus icon down here in the lower right, click that, go to drive. And then right here, um, typically I just have to pull down to reload my Google Drive sounds. And as you can see, smsbellatrix.ogg is here. You can tell when the file format is not being recognized because it's actually grayed out uh, on these three MP3s. So I actually converted these files from an MP3 to an AAC to, uh, to another format. I can't really remember what it was. I think it was an M4R or an M4A, one of those. All of those didn't work. I thought they were because um, it, it works the same way on um, iPhone. You can actually get the Cyanogen Mod uh, notification sounds for your iPhone. Um, and then from here, you just need to click on the Bellatrix, select it, and it's loading. All right, and now it's loaded, SMS Bellatrix. I actually personally like the Argon sound, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. Click Save, and we have notification default notification sound, SMS Argon, which is probably my favorite sound. All right, guys, I hope you liked that video. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Um, I think I said originally three steps, probably the fourth one actually loading it into your phone, which I did show you. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below, and I'll make sure to address those as soon as I can. But thank you so much for watching. Bye.